So my name is Theo Janssen and I am working on making new forms of life already since 1990. And these forms of life are not made of protein like our bodies. Everything is made of protein, but my animals have another basic material. I use plastic tube, which we use in Holland for cables in houses. So I try to build, restrict myself just to this kind of tube and to build sort of animals which have to survive on beaches. And so these animals don't have to eat because they gather energy from the wind. Uh, so it's a big advantage. And I want them to survive in herds in the future on the beaches so they can survive the storms, they can survive the, the water, the sand, all the, the, the circumstances on the beach, and they can live on their own one day uh, when I'm not anywhere there. You, you could say that I, I observe the world as if I'm an alien, and, uh, and I see life. I'm quite surprised that we are, are alive, and that, uh, especially about my own life, that I exist. And I, somehow I want to find out the secrets of life by making a new nature. And maybe uh, at the end of my life, I'm a, well, at least I have the illusion that I become a lot wiser by doing this. In fact, I try to forget uh, uh, what I know about the existing nature. So I don't want, want to make an animal in particular. I don't want to build dinosaurs or uh, something which is already exists. I really want to start a new nature. Of course, there are uh, methods which uh, are already used in real nature as well, like legs. Uh, but I try to find new ways which were not invented by the uh, evolution, uh, existing evolution. So I try to really make a new evolution. Usually I have great ideas, ingenious ideas in the morning and then I go to the beach and I'm working on these ideas. And usually during the day these ingenious ideas turn out to be not that ingenious as they were in the morning because the tubes never obey my ideas, they protest always, and they push me in another direction, you could say. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a bit depressed, of course, because my ideas, I couldn't realize my ideas, but then I go to bed, and in the night, I get new ideas, which are based, in fact, on the experiences as the day before. In fact, you could say that during the whole process, my own ideas are just wiped away all the times and the ideas of the tubes are uh, realized. And uh, so in the end of the process, it's, it's not a straightforward thing. It just, the road is very curly and very capricious. In fact, it's dictated by the tubes, not by me. These tubes are quite surprising. They come up with ideas I never had been thinking of. I think Nature is much more creative than our brain. Yes, well, of course, I would like to show my work on, on the beach in your original uh, circumstances, but usually the wind is not strong enough or uh, there's rain, and, uh, and so it's not easy to, to do that. And exhibitions also open other doors, they open more the doors to my imagination. Because, of course, it's quite spectacular to show the animals on the beach, but here it's more 
uh, intimate and also more based on the, the deeper layers in my work. So I confront the audience more here with my thoughts and my philosophy about life. And, um, and that's, well, I like to do that, that they get a richer idea about my work.